Folsom High School students are getting some hands on learning with drones this morning. Yeah, it's all thanks to skills they're learning in a computer science class. Lori Wallace has more of the details, and hopefully, her tall photographer is not getting his head. I am 100% outsmarted in here, guys. This is pretty amazing. Mrs. Kavanaugh has been a teacher here at Folsom High School for 27 years. Started out as the typing teacher, now all of this. And you really jumped through some hoops to, to make this happen. Yes, there's a, a grant down at the California Department of Ed, and Folsom High School received $250,000 to change to a new pathway. This is a computer science pathway, and we're excited to bring it to Folsom High, especially with Intel across the street. We've got Micron down the block. It's time that we start doing some things for our students in computer science. These kids are learning some amazing things. I want to bring in Anish and Ethan who helped get this program started here. Why did you think it was so important and what was your part in all of this? So last year our computer science class, we went down uh, to Intel since it's right across the street and they showed us how their drone works since they have a drone team. And uh, usually like every year they have a drone show and actually here in Intel they uh, broke the world record um, for a Time magazine of flying uh, 2018 drones in the air. So that really inspired me and our teacher Ms. Kavna to create something like our own. We well, have such a great resource right in your backyard. So what's it like now to see this all up and running. Absolutely. It's really fun seeing it from the start where we just had an idea that we thought we could do and then actually working together, you know, during fourth period almost every day this past half of the year now. It's really cool to see how just what a cool idea that we thought is actually in place right now. It's yeah, it's grown into something pretty awesome. In fact, we're watching the drones go through hoops. Now I want to come over to here to where the girls are because uh, you're going to tell me a little bit about how this program works. So drone blocks is basically a drag and drop program based. Um, eventually, after we go through all the tutorials and learning, we're going to split. The class will split, and so some will work, be working on choreography with the drones, and others will be working on a Python-based side of drone blocks. What do you like about about doing this? Um, generally, I just like drones. They're fun. They're, there's a big industry. It's growing, and so it's just going to help a lot in college. And after college, we can get jobs in drones because we already have prior experience in high school doing drones. I think that's the most important thing to mention. It is fun, but the experience they're getting in here can translate into so many things after high school and even and even further. And that's kind of what you wanted to talk about. How do you think this is going to change your future? So drones are being used in multiple industries today, from agriculture to plant seeds and water plants to the military and uh, to extinguish fires. So. It's really great that we're able to use these drones at an early age and get experience with handling them and program programming them because it prepares us for a future career in which drones could be a big part of. It's awesome. You guys are doing great work in here. Mrs. Kavanaugh doing an awesome job with this class, and these kids are getting experience that none of us could even dreamed of when we were in high school. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. That is cool. Isn't that crazy? These kids drones are, are flying drones yeah. and stuff. When I was in school, the highest tech class we had.